Thank you very much for joining our channel. Thanks for visiting Sports Obama TV. So we delve straight into issues of football and today uh, we go to the Black Stars where a new coach has been named in the shape of Milovan Rajavak. The Serbian returns to the Black Stars after 11 years of uh, departing since the 2010 World Cup and uh, a lot of talks around his unveiling especially the materials available for the Black Stars, if Milovan Rajavak will be able to be successful to build a team like the one he did whilst coach of the Black Stars 11 years ago. And uh, here, today we go into some of the most exciting talent, uh, young players that Milovan Rajavak will build his team around when he comes in to take charge of the team. And this is uh, sponsored by Castrol Engine Oil. It's not just oil, it's liquid engineering. Also sponsored by Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, your super quality premium energy drink, Ghana and Africa's number one for your vitality and energy to work throughout the day. And so we go straight into some of the most exciting young talents of Ghanaian players, both on the local scene and in Europe. These are players that we think Coach Milovan Rajavak will build his Black Stars around going into the future, especially qualifying for the World Cup, winning the AFCON in 2022 and participating in Qatar 2022. And so here we go. So we start with the goalkeepers. We understand that Ghana has a total blend of goalkeepers, both in the local league and in Europe. So we go to the Belgian Jupiler League where a young Ghanaian goalkeeper has been making name for himself. Uh, Abdul Manaf Nuruddin is 22 years, plays for AS Upin in the Belgian Jupiler League, recently voted as the most valuable player in the game against Truiden. This is a goalkeeper who has recently been invited to the Black Stars for the qualifiers against Ethiopia and South Africa, but failed to feature in both of the games and we think that as a 22 year old goalkeeper making a name in the European League as huge as the Belgian League, Abdul Manaf Nuruddin will be one of the goalkeepers coach Milovan Rajavak will be having a look at to build the Black Stars and a formidable one of course. So with the goalkeepers, we go straight to the Danish league where a young but exciting goalkeeper has been making the name for himself, punching above his weight. Signed from the Right to Dream Academy in Ghana, 19-year-old Emmanuel Legura has been making stints uh, with Danish side North Jolland, recently promoted into the senior team of North Jolland and played against rivals Copenhagen. We believe that coach Milovan Rajavak will be counting on the services of young talent Emmanuel Agura into his Black Stars team. So we go straight to the defensive shield of the team, Milovan Rajavak's bedrock uh, of building a team. Premier League is where Ghana's Mohamed Salisu has been making a name for himself and this is a player whose name has been on the lips of a lot of Ghanaians since the Black Stars started I mean, depleting in terms of talent. And we think that coach Milovan Rajavak and the Ghana Football Association will try to facilitate an invitation for Mohamed Salisu, who was signed for 10.9 million pounds from Valladolid in the Spanish La Liga, and he's been making a very stellar career for himself at Southampton in the Premier League. We go straight to Portugal, where a young, solid Ghanaian centre-back, Khalid Abdulmoumin, has been featuring impressively for Vitoria Gumares, has been in Europe for some time now, and one of the solid young Ghanaian talent at the defence of Gumares, and we believe that he's one of the players to make an appearance in the Black Stars under coach Milovan Rajovac. There is also Gideon Mensa, who has already featured for the Black Stars in as many as seven games for the team on the left flanks, has been very exciting 
and Gideon Mensa was recently signed by Bordeaux in the French League A, playing competitively and regularly for the team and also sealed a place at the left back of the Black Stars. And Gideon, who will be one of the players coach Milovan Rajovac, will try to build his counter-attacking system around due to his pace and blistering form. Not much has been heard of him in the Black Stars, but Samuel Abe Ashikwe of Agra Great Olympics is a versatile player and one of the discoveries of the just-ended Ghana Premier League. He was also a key member of the Ghana Under-20 team that was victorious in the African Youth Championship in Mauritania earlier this year. Samuel Abe Ashikwe has been rumored to be making a move to an European team, but we believe that even with his stay in the Ghana Premier League, Samuel Abe Ashikwe deserves a place in the Black Stars with his talent and versatility. Redis and Yadam has already played in qualifiers and tournaments for Ghana. Still young and is one of the defenders that Ghana can rest on building a team for the future. Another young, exciting Ghanaian defender is Robin Polly, son of former Ghana international and Asante Kotoko striker Prince Polly. Robin Polly was recently signed by Eri DVCA side Heracle Samelu, and uh, having already played for Ghana under 23, we believe that Robin Polly is one of the pool of Ghanaian players coach Milovan Rajabak will count on. We go to the midfielders, where Ghana has never lagged since professional football began. And Majid Ashimeru plays for Anderlecht, a player who is yet to make a mark in the Black Stars. But with coach Milovan Rajabak, we believe that Majid Ashimeru's talent will come to play when coach Milovan Rajabak takes charge of the team. There is Thomas Partey and there is Mubarak Wakasu, the most experienced players in the Black Stars now. But perhaps the most informed is Ajax Amsterdam's Mohamed Kudus. The player has been giving the Black Stars lots of options in midfield, creative spark and scoring goals as well. And Milovan Rajabak will not struggle to put together a midfield once Mohamed Kudus is on form and injury free. Twenty-one-year-old Edmond Ado is a midfielder who plays for Moldovan champions FC Sheriff Tiraspol. They've been recently making a mark in Europe after becoming the first Moldovan side to qualify for the group stages of the UEFA Champions League. They've been drawn together in a group comprising Real Madrid, Inter Milan, and Shakhtar Donetsk, and recently became the first Moldovan side to win a game in the Champions League, beating Shakhtar Donetsk by two goals to nothing, a game in which Edmond Ado was voted as one of the most important players. A young chap full of talent and skill, Leicester City former midfielder Kamal Sowa is one player who would definitely have a future with the Black Stars. Kamal Sowa was recently signed by Club Bruges for a club record fee of 9 million euro. He was on loan at OH Leuven in the Belgian Jupiler League, starting all 34 games, scoring eight goals and providing six assists. Kamal Sowa is one for the future. Fatal Ishaku, who plays for Ghanaian lower division side Stefan FC, is a man with immense talent and potential that can be likened to a lot of great players in the top leagues in the world. Being voted as the best player of the African Under-20 Championship in Mauritania and rumored to have been signed by English giant Liverpool, Fatah Isaku still has the world at his feet and one of the players we will be counting on to make the Black Stars the team that used to be Abdul Fatah Isaku is a young man with talent and immense potential. His main characteristics such as the explosion, dribbling and shooting 
will be fundamental to be able to impose himself in games when Milovan Rajova decides to field the youngster. Delivers. Oh, what a goal! Daniel Afrila Mania! What a goal! On the local scene, one player who has been very, I mean, imposing in games and uh, winning the league and the FA Cup for Accra has to focus as well as uh, captaining the Ghana under 20 team to victories in the Wafu uh, Championship and African Youth Championship. It's a free Banya Daniel who has also been playing in the CAF Champions League for Hassa Folk and uh, one of the players in the local scene that we think, Miluva Rajabak, will have a look at in terms of the local contingent who receive invitations into the Black Stars. There are not many Ghanaian players who have been very regular for the upsides in Europe and Baba Idrisu of Real Mallorca in the Spanish La Liga has been ever present for the team and recently has become one of the four crew of the Black Stars. Uh, Baba was so hope to maintain his position in the team under Milovan Rajovac to complement the efforts of Thomas Partey and Kudus Mohamed. Here is a child who will definitely have a spot in Milovan Rajovac's team. Kudus Mohamed lifts one to the far post and opportunity is in and guess who scored? Nicolas Opoku. On the attacking front, 19-year-old Kamal Din Suleimana has been in a sterling form for French side Stade René. He's already made some appearances for the Black Stars and it won't be difficult for Milovan Rajovac's counter-attacking football to succeed with Kamal Din Suleimana in form. Joseph Pencil is a young Ghanaian striker who's already scored some brilliant goals in Europe, plays for Genk in the Belgian League but moved to Turkey for Ankara Gucci, where he scored 11 goals in the Turkish league. And Joseph Penso uh, has already received invitations to the Black Stars and would it be a new place for him uh, if Milovan Rajovac decides to come calling. If Milovan Rajovac was interested in the services of Prince Tego during his first stint, Certainly, he will be looking at Benjamin Tete, the 6 feet 4 inches tall striker plays for Yeni Mataliaspor in the Turkish league, has already scored goals and is a potent man up front to count on for goals. Kwesi Oche Vritz plays for Willem II in the Dutch Eredivisie has scored five goals since signing for them. Former Bayern Munich striker has already played three games for the Black Stars. But Kwesi will look to be sharper under Serbian coach Milovan Rajovac once he gets an invitation. Osman Bukhari is a former Ghana Olympic team star and has recently joined Nantes in the French Ligue 1 from Ghent in the Belgium League. He's an exciting talent, full of potential, a winger who has an added ability of scoring goals and Osman Bukhari is in the pool of very high performing Ghanaian players in Europe who may receive another invitation into the Black Stars, having already played once for the senior national team. So let's put the talks of Ghana not having quality players across the globe to compete adequately for the Black Stars to bed here are some of the most exciting and high-performing Ghanaian players across the world who we think coach Milovan Rajovac will rely on to build a very formidable Black Stars and this is uh, sponsored by Castrol Engine Oil it's not just oil it's liquid engineering also sponsored by Adonko Next Level Energy Drink your super quality premium energy drink Ghana and Africa's number one for your vitality and energy to work throughout the day. Thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Sports Obama TV. Just click on the bell and receive all notifications once we put in some of the most exciting content you love about sports.